two Swiss brands that can offer the value in watches that Hamilton does. Everything from the khaki field lineup to the watch we're looking at today, the Intramatic Chronograph, are best buys in their respective segments. It helps to have the power of swatch behind you, but being able to execute on that power is another thing entirely. The Intramatic is attractive, not overly bulky for a chronograph, and has little to complain about. Let's jump in. I'd like to thank Saltzman's Watches for sending in this Intramatic for review. If you use the coupon code in the description below, you can get 25% off the Intramatic Chronograph. Back to the review. Automatic chronographs can be chunky as chunky can be. There are a lot of elements to pack into a small space to get all the hands spinning and displaying the timing information. The Intramatic Chronograph comes in at 40mm wide, 49mm lug to lug, and 13mm wrist to crystal. It is extremely manageable as far as chronographs go. On my 6 and 3 quarter inch wrist, I never felt it overwhelmed my wrist or was too top heavy. It's not tiny by any means, but I don't expect a tool watch like this to be. It feels a little bigger than my Speedmaster, and with the addition of a winding rotor, that feels justified. In my mind, there isn't anything worse than a 15mm tall chronograph that feels even taller on the wrist. That isn't the case with the Intramatic. The Intramatic chronograph is Hamilton's callback to their racing chronos from the 1960s. The styling of these modern reinterpretations is similar to the originals. Those with a keen eye will spot elements like the subdial font that made their way into more famous chronographs like the Omega Speedmaster. The Intramatic is designed to be easy to read at a glance, and even easier to operate. The two extra-large subdials squeeze themselves in between the markers surrounding them, and the dial is about as clutter-free as you can get on a chronograph. Hamilton stayed relatively faithful to the original artwork, including the stylized H logo above Hamilton. Although the Intramatic is 40mm wide, it is almost all dial with only a thin fixed bezel. The tachometer is on the inside of the bezel surrounding the main dial. The two subdials are running seconds on the left and a 30 minute totalizer on the right. The subdials are slightly sunken, sloped inwards, and with the concentric circle pattern on them, they have a surprising amount of depth. The large pushers are easy to use and have a decent amount of resistance to them. If you're unfamiliar with chronographs, the top pusher will start and stop the chronograph and the bottom will reset everything back to zero. The feedback is snappy and quick, just what you want from a mechanical chronograph. I've had my eye on one of these to review for a long time. They seem to be one of the most affordable automatic chronographs available today, and come with all the reassurances the Swatch Group can offer. I'd like to see the Intramatic with a proper fitted bracelet, but the mesh works well here and I bet it's even better on leather. I'd have a hard time finding another automatic chrono to recommend to someone in the $2,000 price range. Some say the Speedmaster is a steal at their current price. If that's true, the Intramatic is getting away with murder. Thanks for watching the video review of the Hamilton Intramatic Chronograph. Be sure to check out our other reviews and visit WatchClicker.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.